Hi, Gemini. It's L here to do your February 2018 monthly reading. It's a general read. So a general read. So it will not resonate with each and every Gemini who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment uh, to the channel. Definitely comment. It means a lot. Uh, let's get started. I do shuffle and pray over the cards off camera. We are using the good and the bad tarot right the good tarot the good tarot all right here we go uh i want to do gemini singles first okay i'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet um sorry that it's coming out late but you know it's just been crazy happy new year yes it's february and i'm still saying happy new year there's some people who you know, I don't know, they just got out of jail or something, or crazy home or something. Happy New Year. I don't know. It's still the new year. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Alright, what are the energies for my Gemini singles? My Gemini singles. What's the energy for my Gemini singles? Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages. Messages of love and light for my Gemini singles. True, accurate messages from above from, for my Gemini singles. Messages that will govern and guide their lives. Bringing them back to our creator in prayer and in supplication. Thank you. All right. Gemini singles, Gemini singles, dating singles. Okay, Gemini singles, it looks like your spread is, is really nice. We don't even need to pull many clarifiers. Uh, and the foundation is the hangman. So some of you are waiting for, you know, another piece of information, more insight, more intuition. And what crosses that is the hierophant. It's gaining intuition, uh, seeking out that spiritual guidance uh, that you need, trying to find that, that, that missing piece for whatever that will move you because right now you're at the hangman status you're not you know it's kind of like you're you know at inertia in inertia you know you're not moving uh the basis for all of this is the ten of water happiness the highest level of happiness or it could be a family unit uh you are happy where you are it looks like you're trying to make a decision about how you move forward because it looks like you might be in some type of dynamic duo type of situation. We have the Empress and the Emperor here. Uh, both. Um, the Emperor is external to you. And it looks like you're the Empress. You're the creationist. You're Mother Earth. You're down to Earth. You create the environment that you want. Um, it's beautiful. It looks really good. Uh, presently, we got nine of fire. You've been through a lot. You're evaluating the situation from afar, definitely with the hangman, the two of air, and the recent past. You had to make a decision about which way you wanted to go, how you wanted things to go. Um, maybe you had to make a decision about uh, which path to choose, or which person, or which job. Um, which place of residence I'm here page of water nice because there was messages of love around you as you could be dealing with a water sign or just messages of love you knew that love set in between in the midst of you and another whatever that other may be um, okay and your power you're the queen of fire so you're very attractive very energetic very charismatic um, 
it looks really good. This is the, the, the energy you're taking on, the queen of fire. You may have fire in your chart, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The emperor is external to you. Someone who governs, guides, looks over, watches over. Uh, someone could be watching over you. Someone could be trying to govern and guide you in, in the correct manner. The emperor is at emperor status because they have done a lot. They've gone through a lot. They've been through a lot. They know a lot. The three of water and the hopes and fears. Nice. The, the uh, three of water talks about reconciliation. Of course, good times. Merry times. Uh, Valentine's Day is coming up. The three of water talks about reconciliation also. Dating. So your hopes and fears. Uh, it looks really good with the three of water here. The outcome is patience uh, or temperance. Uh, have patience in dealing with... Uh, this whole situation. It looks like you are because you're the hangman status and the hierophant crosses that. You could be dealing with a Taurus. If not dealing with a Taurus or an Aries, definitely an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart or water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, yeah, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius too. Have patience because something has ended for you. The world is here. We'll pull one more card and we're going to move on. The five, five of fire, two of fire. Something's ended for you, but there's a lot of indecision within yourself. There's a lot of strife within yourself about taking a new path or about doing something different. Justice, right, about bringing about balance. Ten of fire, because maybe there was a, a heavy load to carry five of water. It looks like you may be dealing with your past here. Um, you have to let it go because what the cards are saying is that there's an ending here. There's an ending to a cycle. You've gone as far as you can go. And the woe is me, life sucks, love sucks type of situation. You might have something really good here. Um, go with it. Go with the flow. Patience. Temper yourself. All right? Okay, so it looks really good, uh, Gemini Singles. It's just all about dating, getting out there, putting yourself out there, uh, remaining positive, uh, acting in patience, acting in patience, not impatient. Um, looks really good. We'll pull some advice cards at the end. All right, what are the messages for my Gemini couples? Gemini couples. Gemini couples married, long-term relationships. Gemini couples married, long-term relationships. Situationships. Thank you for the messages for Gemini couples. Messages of love and light to Okay, and I'm back. It only took me two minutes to get the cards off the ground. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Gemini couples. Gemini couples. True, accurate messages for Gemini couples. Gemini couples. Four of Pentacles. Some of you holding on to your emotions, holding on to how you feel. Eight of Wands. Because maybe things are moving fast. Temperance, again. Um, the reason why, the reason for, you know, the energy around you is because you need to temper yourself. You need balance. The hierophant and the present energy. The five of wands in the past. A lot of strife and decision. The star in the near future. Ace of Wands in your power. The moon external to you. Okay. The will of fortune in your hopes and fears. Nice.
two wanted to come out the empress and the outcome and the queen of wands nice okay <clears throat> this looks really really good um we have the moon here and what's external to you so there might be a bit of unknown i don't feel like it's lies or deception i just feel like there's something working behind the scenes because we have the moon and the will of fortune so there might be some spirit working behind the scenes um some manifestation um and the foundation is the four of pentacles and the eight of wands someone's holding on but at the same time things are moving rapidly there's lots of communication um the reason for all of the energy is temperance. You need to balance yourself. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius directly or a Taurus. And the present is the Hierophant that governs all things institutional, marriage, church, big corporations, big just institution, traditionalism, uh, structure. In the recent past is the five of wands. There's a lot of indecision here. But moving forward in the near future is the star. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. It looks really good. Lots of healing going on here. The eight of swords. Healing and restoration, but still feeling trapped to the devil, a Capricorn, or a toxic situation. Then the fool, but taking that leap of faith. Hi, the high priestess listening to your intuition holding on to what it is you need to do for self so that you can move forward and your power is the ace of wands so there'll be a new passionate start either in partnership or alone for some of you i'm feeling like some of you are trying to decide what to do in relationship Queen of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Some of you definitely could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Capricorn is here also. Um, the outcome is the Empress and the Queen of Wands. So this is a real sexy somebody right here. This is a real charismatic, energetic, attractive, sexy, just very magnetic. This is a duo right here to to have the queen of wands and the empress together um some of you could be taking on this energy very attractive very sexy um trying to manifest and create being very abundant being very down to earth grounded within yourself within your relationship this could be your partner also nine of pentacles yeah I feel like some of you are taking the route of becoming single. I feel like there's single, wanting to be single energy here. And then some of you are really thinking about a partnership, two of swords, right? Judgment. You need to make a final decision. Are you in or are you out uh, of this relationship? For some of my Geminis. For some of my Geminis, it looks really good. There's some things working behind the scenes to the point where the outcome will be good for you. Um, stop holding on to your emotions. Express exactly how you feel. Uh, there's healing and restoration here. There's the opportunity to take that leap of faith, that risk, okay? This is a, one of the best Gemini couple and single readers I've ever done, like, recently. All right, here we go. And let's pull some advice cards for my Gemini singles. Thank you for the advice for Gemini singles. True, accurate messages for Gemini singles. Messages of love and light. Get some rest. Hobbies. Adult children. Okay, get some rest, hobbies, and adult children. Um, 
I'm immediately drawn to adult children. Some of you could have adult children. Of course, some of you could be the adult children. Uh, this sometimes roundabouts to parental care. You might need to check in with your parents. You are the adult children's children now, so you might need to go back and check in with your parents to make sure they're all right in any manner, uh, financially, emotionally, whatever. But check in with your, your, your parents, uh, adult children, uh, and then vice versa. Some of you have adult children, you're concerned about them, or, or vice versa, but you're concerned about them. Uh, this card says check in with them also. Um, your concerns are, are legitimate. They're accurate. Uh, definitely check in with them. Hobbies. Hobbies comes out sometimes when you need to engage in hobbies. Uh, Gemini singles to, uh, to fill that void, to fill that time. Because if you don't, you'll feel that, that, that alone space, that emptiness, or just the fact of being alone with bad habits. So find a hobby. You can even monetize a hobby, as I'm doing now. Uh, get some rest. Some of you are not sleeping. Most Geminis I know, like, are freaking nocturnal, or, like, all they need is, like, two or three hours. I don't get it. All right, so moving on to Gem Gemini couples. Welcome the new... Welcome the new, new career. Nice. Gemini couples, welcome the new and new career. Healthcare change. All right. So welcome the new. Welcome the new could be welcome, welcoming the new for anything. Welcome, of course, the new job, the new baby, the new relationship, the new way of doing things, uh, the new mindset, the new career. Nice for some of you. You have started a new job, a new career. A new a new path here uh, it says welcome it um, it's here it was supposed to be here it's destined uh, positivity be positive healthcare change uh, sometimes this is about getting a second opinion sometimes this is about uh, if you feel like something's going on with you Consult a physician. Some of you haven't been taking care of yourself. It's, it's not enough to do what's on the surface. Washing face, brushing teeth, taking a shower, popping a multivitamin here and there. Healthcare change. You need to go deeper. It might even be lifestyle change, dietary change. Get a second opinion. Preventive care. Mm, that was a lot, wow. Okay, so Gemini, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please like, share, comment to the page. Email me, tarotofl at gmail.com. Take advantage of the $25, 25-minute readings. All information is below. Follow me on Instagram. You can message me there. Um, thank you, Geminis, uh, for being patient for the reading. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Talk to you soon. Take care. Remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. All right. Bye, guys.